I wouldn't really call them underdogs anymore. You know, know? they fight like the heroes that they should be called in for today. And now, Valor for his band. For 10 I'm seconds. sorry. Is this uh, is this the uh, grand finals already? When did that happen? Oh man, I wish I could read. Ah, I wish I could read Japanese, but I can't. Somebody translate it on the chat, please. But Clip and translate. I just love the spirit that they have. Look at everyone on the crowd. They do really want to play around. First draft still underway, which means we do have a little bit of time for fun and games before we hit in towards yeah. this sort of a moment where they have to find the victors to head in towards the next phase. Well, you, you know Burby's goals. They've already made it to the next round. So right. whoever wins faces Burmese goals. I think that's going to be a really hey. tough match. Oh, that's a game one. plus. No, Starting out the fan dude, here. Like, with oh, Halbert well, as well as the Harry. Like, I'm trying to think, removed. how do you I think they're doing the wave of the crowd. It's really smart. Yeah, yeah, I can't get rid of Masha. For the, I mean, not a lot of people ban out Masha, usually in the second phase. But first phase ban is a lot coming from 10 seconds game. They're like, no, we don't want this nonsensical split pushing anymore. <laughs> Take us on head to head. We want a team fight comp as well. That definitely was an issue for them for most parts where we saw the Cho could never leave the bottom lane. Mm -hmm. And wow, I, I, I gotta say that this is definitely a huge relief factor for 10 Seconds Gaming Plus. But what should come into is the draft because Harif has already been banned away. And I would say potential picks heading into it this game it would be the Kaja because Kaja, we haven't really seen that coming in. But Kaja, if you do lose out that early game, and hitting into it's a very later phase of the game, then it's really tough to actually pick off people. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. But now coming into this first pick is going to be export. I mean, 100% of the time export has been picked, and I don't think I don't think 10 Second Gaming is going to stop that. They are really like pushing the limits of what export players should strive for. It's going to be the Grok as well as the Cho this time coming in from Todak. They're changing it up. Well. Now, changing things as they go. Chow here, of course, already having that being uh, locked away. But my, what was that? Uh, let's see. Let's see what they want to do for 10 seconds gaming. Um, I want to see if they want to, you know, change it up. They're bringing in the Hellkurt. I mean, change it up, and they've already answered it. Oh my, Hellkurt in this very final fight for their lives to hit into this next phase here, and Lilia will be in the hands of 10 seconds gaming plus again well we, we've already seen the sort of damage output that she can go especially towards that late game it's just going to be uh, that pain being brought in once again now heading in towards this a final battle between the two they are bringing in the Kimi as well so I like what I'm seeing this is going to give a little bit more early pressure towards Santoda. Yeah, and it's looking good. I mean, Kimmy, we haven't seen it too often. We're going to see how this, gonna, this is going to play out a little bit more. I'm kind of interested. Oh, I almost saw the respect from 10 Second Gaming. They're like, no more split push. <laughs> oh, they know for a fact that the red side is still going to get that party pick in that sort of sense. So they did not even want to risk having that high up being opened up in first. Uh, Chiku did play a really good round of that. So now heading into its that final ban, Boxia mm. being removed. So it's gone. Somebody needs to cut that. I just game. need to know what exactly that says. But coming back into the draft, it's going to be another 25 more seconds for 10 second gaming. Let's see how they're going to play their draft up a little bit more because we can see for a fact they know what they want to do. Ooh, Lolita, a soft. A, a pretty hard counter to Kimmy here. As long as she gets in front of Kimmy's face, she won't be able to get her damage in, paired up with a Gato. Well, I, I like what I saw. And of course, Lolita is something that uh, has been picked up time and time again throughout M1 for really good reasons. And and we see a lot of all these players really go in with that sort of flicker, numb and blast, which can catch out mobile units as well. So repositioning it to actually uh, take a huge blow to the face of Todak will definitely give them a shock of a lifetime. Yeah, and let's see, the Nas here, his last pick, what's it going to be? It's going to be the Granger. He performed nicely on, I mean, Chico performed it nicely on it the last time, and I think they're switching it up here because again, we're seeing 
Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to change a little bit more. Let's go. When we get into the game, I kind of want to see who is going to be on who because Chiku overall has been performing exceptionally well. Well, Chiku is definitely on his A game for the entirety of the tournament. And now let's see how they could possibly uh, play this one. I, I love Granger. Like, I can't state this enough because when we saw those Death Sonatas come out, you know that somebody's going to be running for their lives. And Granger here, 56% win rate. What does that tell you? <sighs> it just means that, you know, out of 100 games, he'll win 56 of them. That's <laughs> 100 games. Out of 100 games, you know he's going to win 56 overall. But yeah, I think this is just a... It's, it's kind of mind-boggling to see how they're going to play this out because number one, that early game is looking pretty pretty dicey for both sides. The Lolita mm -hmm. is going to be there, but Grok is always a big part of the game. It's kind of who gets, again, the first three minutes. Like, I don't like repeating it more than three yeah. times, but I think this one is a little bit more important than the previous games because a lot more is on the line. And mid-game, both want to team fight. Both well, really want a team fight. I, I think that they definitely have drafted a phase where they really want to make sure that they just will go in for that sort of advantage that they can pull off from those sort of uh, fights. And speaking of that, we're, of course, seeing this one go uh, with some interesting sort of a lineup for Toda yes, side, which yes. is uh, a, a definitely a refreshing side that, as we didn't really see Toda definitely going for this sort of composition before. Yeah, and again, I mean, we, we sort of see this comment, sort of see that, but just this is a different iteration. Yeah. And I think that's where it gets a little scary because are they ready to actually pull it through? I mean, a lot of people are going to believe in Torah because they played some of these picks during the MPL, but a lot has changed since then. Yeah. Is it going to be the same? We don't really know. And the crowd is already getting ready for this game to begin. It looks like we're going to be starting relatively soon and hopefully you guys in chat who are like where is the game we can hopefully satisfy that thirst <laughs> oh yeah and i wish that we could also play along with the crowd as well also huge a shout out to eco2 for doing just that now we're gonna get our final game between these two and one of them will rise and the next will fall Ah, oh, it's unfortunate to think that one of these teams has to go home after today's game. But let's see, maybe in about 20 minutes or so, we'll find out when the game ends. But I, I don't know, this could be a very quick game, or it could be the longest game we've ever seen. Well, some say death will be real swift in that sort of sense, but that's what Granger does offer when he gets those items. And now we are game ready ladies and gentlemen and now let's take it all the way till down versus 10 seconds gaming plus for the last time all right well, a little bit of that 360 no scope coming from <laughs> food he's in a good mood he really is i think you know he's got to change he's got to like get into the mentality of like hey I, I'm not going to let the second game affect me. I got really punished the last time. I was able to come back, but this time I'm going to make that early lead matter. Now, oh. Lilia should be able to take them off, no problem. So Todak are going to move towards the bottom side and steal away the Gargoyle. They need to get ahead in EXP, and that's what you do when you have something. Oh boy, X-Ray, you got to be careful. Those Stingers ain't going to forgive you. Yeah, and uh, he's already being forced away with that flicker being pulled out. Suray instead soaking a little bit way too much, but here comes Papa though. Give me a little bit of helping hand. Ooh, First wow. couple of blasts will slowly uh, make a move for Todak here, which will return back and towards the mid lane here for a little bit more. And over the bottom side, we're seeing a little bit of contention for the river crab as Granger is trying to actually reset this one. But we already bring up the shield as well to Mebo slowly zoning them away but then as you're going for a little bit of chase here but i don't think that they will be locking horns oh, against oh, me but oh, oh. Ooh, close That's, one this is this is becoming a spicy game but again tomebo is holding on chiku is in trouble he's going down the revitalize is actually being popped already he's in trouble then popped it a little too late and now he's in a lot of trouble as the first blood goes over the 10 second gaming um now obuyan here Slowly getting a little bit more of that sort of advantage as we see. Of course, we're fucking grown already. 10 seconds gaming plus have such decisiveness heading in towards that sort of a fight. And now Rivercraft on the control Turtle as well. Turtle soon. coming up online and Ooh. they've already got themselves in position, forcing away members of Todak and they could not possibly trade off. But Moons gets gonna really tickle for a little bit and Gatukacha here just <laughs> casually walking through saying hi to Moon. Yeah. 
Macro play coming in here. They're giving up the first turtle because they can't really do too much with it. I mean, obviously, Torah Kimi wants, uh, Moon definitely wants the buff for himself to get that true damage. But overall, I think what's really interesting is that in the first three minutes of the game, like 224, they wanted to contest everything. They wanted to go in, steal away the buff. They realized they were responding, they pulled away. Then instead, they went to Rivercraft. They didn't do their own buffs. Hmm. Yeah, and I, I felt like some of all these things definitely were a little bit more questionable in that sort of sense as well. But I think it was all right, except yeah. the problem was like the moment River Crab was gone, you yeah. probably should have gone straight to your buff, but instead you tried to <laughs> contest bottom. Crab, yeah. And well, then it's like, uh... and you're in that really awkward position by then. Exactly. So I, I'm not really sure like uh, if they should commit to that sort of a fault once again. But we saw 10 seconds game plus here. Already pulling out Dark Knight Falls, and they are high on to get a Tico, and here it comes! Guardians being very... They pop as well, to rig on the chase as well. He's alive! Ooh, could not really connect to that, but he was fighting back. Only one of help left, and he backs away, but Lita catches him out! Chico dealing the final blow, lost side for the Kimi here, one for one. A one for two trade, in fact, looks like X-Ray actually got traded off down on the bottom side. That's a little unfortunate considering that Chico was on the cusp of dying, but he was able to Rondo on out of there. He held on with every sliver of health he got. Oh yeah, and I, I, I just love the fact that Chico knows that he sees opportunity, he will try to go for it as well. And even though he was really low, he tried to turn things around, but now 10 seconds against the gaming plus is dominating that early game here with already 2k in the lead after taking down that bot lane turret. Yeah, the rest of the team slowly looking to get a catch here. Gato needs to make this work. And now that 10 second gaming have like a good a, a good 2.2k lead, I think they're looking to maybe set Turtle up for some dives soon. and hopefully catch out Moon with the Sky Guardian's avatar if they made it out right. Yeah, and I, I definitely would say that that Sky Garden avatar was used to perfection because they stoned them out of the way. And look at Moon, almost getting caught as well. The Moon of Blast, almost connecting as E1, forcing out the wall charge as well. And here comes from number two attempt from 10 seconds gaming, but E1 pressuring the side of Suray as Suray tries to stone them away. Dark Knight falls to really been uh, used up, so that will be pretty much a lot of room for 10 seconds gaming to secure two turtles in a row. Yeah, they're gonna call it off. They see that X-Ray, he's falling behind. It's like, all right, it's fine. We don't need the EXP. We just need to kind of collaborate onto the goal, get our first item, and maybe look for a window of opportunity to fight then. Plus, Granger's on the top side. He ain't coming back down. Oh, the Taka's oh. in trouble. He's gonna take a full Rhapsody to the base. <gasps> one more auto and then us. He's gonna run on through. Jiku gets locked down by the Petrify, but it ain't gonna be enough. Omuya trying to save the situation, but Nenas ain't gonna make the same mistake. He pops down the revitalize really quick, and now Nenas walks away. Should be walking away, Scott Free the touch. He's in trouble. He needs to dodge the last one. He goes down instead. Well, mid lane, where's he gonna defeat by as well? Now, both Sure in the air, lost by with some evil. A spear coast. Spear I got armor already been popped as well. And now, quick on a little bit of a reset there, knowing that they don't have enough damage output to break down 10 seconds gaming. But I like that sort of top lane flag so beautifully done and turn him out there but papa did not secure that kill oh interesting a different sort of build coming in from moon he has a mystery shop he doesn't he isn't looking to destroy objectives real quick he wants to be part of the team fight but he goes for the ice queen one instead top side breaks e1 is going to try and stop Uya from making his way out but he's going to go out scot-free and they're going to let him pass because they're just biding their time waiting for that window of opportunity to catch them out Speaking of a catch here, trying to actually catch out some evil, but that is going to be one maximum blow for the back. And whoa, what do we have? E1 here just slowly dicing around, but 23 more seconds. We're going to see whether or not can hold out at least snatch one turtle away. I just like how Tensex Gaming Plus is controlling the tempo for the current time being, but Toda still definitely have a lot more chances into this. We're already seeing about 5k goalie coming up shortly, and Sure, just waiting for soon. members to pass by, and that's going to be Ranger heading in towards that corner of the brush. Looks like they want to they want to sacrifice Turtle, well, kind of buy time for Turtle so they can dive bot side. Like, let's look bot side. Like, Tataka, he is in trouble. He pops out the Dark Knight Falls, and he's kind of sitting around. He gets locked down by the. Whoa. He gets locked down. X Ray, he has to figure out out of there, but he's in trouble. He's going to be going down. Oh, what? He gets it. That was sick. That was so sick. He gets the wave of the dragon into Chiku's death sonata. So nicely done. That is definitely unexpected. The Monoblast will miss E1, and now 
first of the lane got there, which means E1 just got to make sure that he stays alive. Walking right through as the Lilia could not go in for that pursuit. But wow, talk about that bottom lane again because we are seeing the turret being destroyed. Two of Tina Shields being bought out, and Suray will be the next one to falter. Oh, no. oh, and here's no. Papa. He's ready to die. The Nas is ready to go down. Oh, Papa takes the black shoes. The Nas is like, take my life, Chiku. You're going to carry this game. I'm okay with this. They just got to pay go rob paper scissors. Who's the one that he should be killing? And nope, he chose paper. And now there's going to be that flicker they bought out there by E1. Late of Despair by Totaka. But Totaka, oh, I just could not forget what just happened to the bot side because that child. Oh, that last minute way of the dragon. <laughs> Too much for Ooh. me. Way too much for me. That that was a lot of pressure. He had to time it just right. It was mid auto attack. He cancels it with the way of the dragon <laughs> right into the death scenario. It's like, oh, Picasso reincarnated right there. But let's see how 10 seconds game. He kind of wants to play this out to Mabo. In trouble now. Verona armor is broken. Oh, oh. Of impact. One more hit. X ray against it. And now Tataka is in trouble. He goes down. They trade one for one. But honestly, I think that's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. If you're seeing that sold out. Is a Picasso. I feel like we have a Vincent Van Gogh right here on 10 Seconds Gaming Plus. <laughs> Two oh. great artisans just painting a picture for us as we are slowly finishing up this sort of painting here. But this is just eight minutes of the game. I do believe that we might see another 20 minutes bout. I think who just bought a glowing wand. <laughs> I think, uh, whew, I mean, he's really deviating from the build. I'm not sure if that's his third or second item. No, we have to check later. Chiku's in trouble. He doesn't have the Rondo. Him him he's going to be flickered in. Oh, no. He makes it out. He gets the Rondo at the last second. He just Rondo his way out. He he knew it was coming up online. So he didn't really have to actually expend all too much. But Totaka here, this is not the first time that he's absorbing that maximum charge once again. But here it comes. Oh. That fight. They are in trouble. Moon calls out to the backside. He's trying to break it off. Totaka drops the, 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 the ultimate to kind of look for an opportunity to get to the back line, but they don't actually get it. And now no. Nanas might be in trouble here. They could turn this around. Granger is in the backside. He's taking the wave. He's taking away uh, the beetle. Sorry, the goblin as well. But now this might be it. This might be the turnaround that they need. Well, so they're not going to go for it. Oh, that's going to be a charge landing. And E1 following really shortly. But there oh. comes that wave. He right. finds it. Great way of the dragon. He has the ship pull out of there. I'm lost for what because that looked like it was a good opportunity, but I think Kodak gave a lot, arguably too much respect to 10 second gaming. X-Ray comes in with an amazing three match kundo. That could have been a major fight, but again, yeah. Papa still had the black shoes. I think that's what they were afraid of. Yeah, they were really afraid to actually overcommit to something that was unnecessary in that sort of sense. But you know, at least giving one away is not too shabby. Well, then to actually risk everyone else. Uh, Sue right here, wait for the Dark Knight Bolt already being connected. And then us having to actually tank this one off with the rest of the being opened up. And he says, No can do, my friend. And E1 here, wall charge this place over Alphabet. And now, boom! Goes down with a mega kill for Nelilia. And what is this going on? As we see, Nana does not have the ult, does have to revitalize. But now it's too little, too late. The fight is over with 10 seconds game plus. Attempting the Lord. Yeah, this is so huge for them. They just landed themselves three kills. They are full, uh, at least 3k ahead of the competition. They're going to take more with no issues. Wait a minute. Hold up. Where's X-Ray right now? X-Ray's on the bottom side of the map, but he's already broken in very, very close to the inhibitor. Ooh, this is getting a little risky. Very, very risky place from Chiku, but I think they want to do the same thing. You know, he was proxying the wave at that Hayabusa in the first game, but now that he is Marshman, he does not have that sort of the flexibility to actually move around with that quad shadow in that sort of sense. Anyways, now time for us to look at some stats. Yeah, looks like Kimmy is going for that glowing one as the second item with the arcane boots on top of it to make sure she has that, you know, extra bit of kick to her attacks. The rest of the team kind of just rotating around. Uh... I think they need to find some sort of catch. Yeah, and uh, speaking of catcher, E1 here on the front line here, already purchasing that immortality as we speak of it. This is going to be that bit being cleared up. Of course, it's probably being opened up as well, making sure that club members will be able to actually hold this one true. Another charge expended. So Mimo says that doesn't mean anything, my friend. And here goes. Lord number one slowly taking off there. But oh. then I'm here trying his best. 
The healing backwards, the Doomnail Blast, no quicker this time now. Lloyd is very, very low. Whoa, Joe on the top side, he's gonna try to clear it up. Oh, the monster kill coming in for the Lilia. She hasn't even used her black shoes. Just, oh wait, no, she already used the black shoes to get the extra amount of damage. Whoa, that's definitely enough damage out from the bot there to actually take down the high loss. Now that they lost, we're gonna lose the tank, which means that's a high time here, baby. Whip that uh, Dark Knight falls here, chasing out to Chico, but he's taking way too much of that turret oh. attack. But there we go, Way of the Dragon taking down Gato Kacha. Now, oh, break it, yes! Bottom Whoa. inhibitor still stands. Gordok coming with a great defense. That's Sonata. He might be able to pick them up. Oh, they're all at one HP. They are so low. That's got to be so frustrating. Definitely frustrating. And even for myself, my OCD is kicking in. It was just one more all attacks actually opened out that in him. But, Whoa. well, they're going to settle for that and wait for a little bit longer. 10 seconds giving plus at least knows that. They have already got the best of options after having it lowered, and now there's just plenty of place for them to roam. Yeah, they're just gonna slowly rotate around the map. They're not gonna get jacked in, but he doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. He is a little too tanky for them to handle. He's taking quite a bit of damage here. He might be in some trouble. He oh. pops out the glorious pathway. He's still alive, and I guess it's gonna be hey okay. Yeah, that takes two of all these frontliners to actually pull something off. So we're a little bit late for the party as well. X-Ray is a little bit too mobile, but oh, wait a minute. So Taco might just actually go in for a chase. Oh, here goes Taco Bolt. He quickly flickers on out of there. X-Ray's got to make it out. He quickly dodges everything. Blows a huge ultimate, allowing Tona to try and punish this top side. And now Tomebo might be in some trouble. Takes a full hit of the Death Sonata, and now they clear off the waves. The rotations are back in. Well, we did see 10 seconds gaming fully committed towards the bottom lane for uh, not great reasons. And Todak tries to actually look for a little bit of that breathing space through the top lane. Now, every one of them are trying to actually do a little bit of a tango over on the mid lane here as they spot out the Hylas. But look at where the Cho is at. He's trying to proxy the wave again, but this is not going to be a good option for X-Ray. He knows for a fact that these members are marching right in, so he's going to keep himself well alive. Yeah, and Chico, he's going to put some damage with that Repsody here. He doesn't want to get into anything too much. He ha Nenas has the ultimate. He's going to be A-OK. -okay. The Glorious Pathway should get him out of there. He needs to go back and recharge, get his health back, reset, chill, and wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's happening with Helker? Oh, he's running away. Go. He takes a full hit of the Death Sonata, but he's a little too fast, too furious for Tordak to catch up. Yeah, and Death Sonata, that fiery bottle hit will always be a critical. But so Taco here, so much of that life still as well as regeneration. He can still uh, last himself right in the lane, and hi, the spikes definitely gonna hurt if it does hit onto any of these heroes. And well, buff will hit over the side of 10 seconds game plus, and the Lord is back up online. Second Lord here, possibly Toda is looking to stop 10 seconds gaming on their track. Yeah, and 10 seconds gaming need to take Lord as quickly as possible, or at least force out the Lord fight as quickly as they can. They don't have a wave down bot side. They're clearing up mid wave. They need to buy a little bit more time. Sure is actually pretty low. This doesn't Wait. actually look too bad for Torda gaming. Yeah, and bottom side, of course, they might not have enough minutes for now, but they will be able to actually make something to happen here in a bit later. Dark Knight Falls being utilized. The Mod Blast as well uh, will be locking down on the house. But it's going to be pop up. Oh! shut down from the back. As we see Chico here taking two down. But look at the back though. Toda here having bad members being battered out. And Bruce, Tomimo still has immortality. So they will lock their eyes over on the other unit at the back. Last insanity popping up. And Obuyan will be focused down by Chiku. This might just be three kills in a row for this boxer here as the game here will not give this one away. Well, this one will not connect, and that is an unstoppable Chiku. These teams are so evenly matched, it's not even funny. Tonak just netted themselves Lord and three kills in their back pocket. Tomebo's in trouble. He takes one hit of the Death Sonata, but it's not going to be enough for him to he turn things around. Kimmy just bought that necklace of Durant. No more spell map for any of y'all. You know, I thought the first game was the best game of the entirety of the series. We are back to what we just witnessed. <laughs> so it's 16 minutes already. Four 16 more minutes, minutes away. <laughs> 16 minutes of the game, and now one lord for each side already being secured. But this time it's hold up on the push. So another defense has to be brought up. So they need to build a wall. They need to make sure that all these 
swivel pressure does not amount to those inhibitors as they are trying to break down the bot lane as well. We saw so much of all these focus from side of Kodak Gaming. Of course, now with X-Ray having that immortality, it's just going to buy enough space for them to actually go in and out of fights. Yeah, they have to peel backwards and Kodak, they're playing this slowly. They understand that, hey, yeah, this is our only opportunity. I think we got to bring this and force a fight out of this. Top side is starting to walk through. Rock E1 is slowing down Lord. They're trying to take the turrets as quickly as possible and then look for a big team fight off top side. This is it. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, and we are seeing OBN quickly taking this one down alongside with the rest of 10 seconds gaming plus. And even the marksmen have already purchased that immortality at this point in time, which is gonna be pretty hard for 10 seconds gaming to actually commit to this battle here. And one more immortality for that highlight as well. And two right here looking for that blast here. It's gonna go in with the lefty dominant blast. And Dark Knight falls being attempted here. They're trying to look for Tiku, but just a little bit way oh, too far. Double. And oh my goodness! Ray almost falling down as well. It's gonna be Nana's getting clipped out. Immortality is all pop and Moon goes down, and then us in between every one of these members of 10 seconds gaming plus. What's up with people dying three at a time? Nanas, he's gonna try and put that ring of punishment. I don't think he's gonna matter too much. He's still gonna go down, but this is a huge win for 10 seconds gaming as they defend the Lord push, bringing it up to 54 to 54k. This is exactly where we were just now. <laughs> oh yeah, like you, you see this hill of blue. Of course, hit in the ways of 10 seconds game plus for good reasons. And it was just overcommitment from Toda's side. I mean, Great play from you, Toda. I don't think it's just an overcommitment. I also think it's just an inability to use their spells efficiently. Because again, Chiku didn't have his ultimate for some reason. He used it in the middle of all of that and got almost nothing off of it. Where I kind of feel like instead of pushing bot side, they should have gone with Lord and maybe forced out a bigger fight that they might potentially win. Because remember, in a front-to-front -front situation, all they have to worry about is Helper getting into the back line. Yeah. Yeah, and he didn't really have to actually fully commit to that. He just went halfway through, pulls himself back, and let the rest of the members do the trick, kicks out Moon. And Moon uh, didn't really get enough of that sort of a backup from the rest of the allies as well, because the rest of them were trying to actually set something up that's way too front for their liking, and they could not actually enter in time. Yeah. Potion already being popped there by Papa, which means that he is stacked AF. He is just so stacked right now. And Papa, I think he's been playing a really, really good Lilia game. And it's it's kind of devastating because he controls that front line so, so well. You can't walk too forward because Gloom is just chopping on those shadow balls and dealing so much freaking damage. Oh, oh no. Well, I'm just waiting for the next fight to break out. And I'm looking forward to that river right down below because that's where the Dance of Death is going to be at. Well, Things have definitely been even out as well with Toda with only 1k deficit in goal. But, well, I, I'm just guessing that most of all these uh, players have already got most of the items that they want. Yeah. But, we get a little bottom side here, a heavy focus from Toda Lord, as they already have that tower being opened up. No more in hit power on the bot side. And now, food getting another great item in. and. He wants to be leading the hack. Yeah, I mean, both sides are equal, basically equal gold. It doesn't really matter as well. It's about the tanks getting the last couple of items. X-Ray just bought his Rose Gold Meteor. And now it's going to be Lord all over again. Who's going to take this fight? X-Ray versus Totaka. Whoa. He might look to break. Actually, he gets the immortality. Wait a minute. Oh, no. He gets the one. He wins the 1v1. X-Ray just won the 1v1. Lord is in their grasp. And now they have to send Gato Kacha to defend, which means that all these members are being beat run apart. Big Flicker with the Domino Blast takes down one member off. There goes the Kimmy, and the next one to fall by Dusty Tomino. He loves his Miraga armor, and the damage is good. The wall does not connect, but Chiku, though, no, he goes in for the time, gets what he wanted, takes down the EX work, and Obuya here will slowly bid farewell. Yeah, they have to play this super carefully. Papa is still up there. They can't lose their back line oh, now. They are godlike. Lord is looking pretty juicy. Lord 10 coming out from Toda. They know Papa as well. Sure is well alive. There won't be the out coming from the sky as well. See Sure here. Trying to steal right this. Can they go in for this? Papa, or he gets shot down. And then he turns into a row. Right to that way, made right out. He gets his suppression. And now all these members being blown up in the air. Suray cannot even respond, but the only one this Lord fall to the hands of Tonak. That is 
so smart. Holy cow, Torna, they might actually win this. They get the full team wide. They get it. And now they're looking to try and end this game. The last couple of members, Omuya, Tomemo, you are the last line of defense against this Torna Lord push. You heard the crowd. They know this is high time. The full agent side will possibly move forward to advance to live for Burmese goals coming up next as they are going in for victory. Not not there we go. They are now securing the victory. So the crowd takes it.